Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called The Lord Says Prepare. But before I go into it, I would like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did they hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay. I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. As I've said, my title is called The Lord Says Prepare. I was feeling slightly apprehensive about doing this video again because I've done two videos, two similar videos and so I placed it at the back of my mind when the Lord spoken to me about these. I placed it at the back of my mind because I did two similar videos but the Lord gently bids me to do this video again. He, he said it will help his people to be prepared. But I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to do this video again. I don't want to do this because it will scare the people. I'm worried about scaring, you know, the people of God. But the Lord doesn't see it as scaring the people, but he sees it as helping his people to be prepared. He said he will never do anything unless he first reveals it. And so this is what the Lord is doing. Okay. On the 1st of August, 2020, I heard spiritually that the virus is coming back and it's coming at a progressive speed. Then I said, Jesus, when is the virus going to really hit us again? And he said, November. The Lord said, November. Then he said, it will lock up everything. Everything will be closed. He said, you will see. He said, you have not seen anything as this before. You have never seen such thing as this before. Then on the 19th of August 2020, the Lord said, be ready for lockdown again. I heard lockdown even while we were in the midst of the virus, the first virus before we came out of lockdown the lord was, was telling me that the virus hasn't gone and that is coming back you can check on the other two videos that i've done i've been saying this before then he reminded me that the dead in christ will rise again and so the lord knows that many people will lose their lives eventually again from this virus or what is to come. Then on the 28th of August, 2020, I heard myself in the spiritual realm asking the question, why are no one surprised that so many people are dying? It was as if everyone was accustomed to people dying and so it wasn't 
a big issue as before when the virus came. Then on the 8th of September 2020, I heard lockdown again and so we need to be prepared. Then on the 12th of September, I heard spiritually that there will be destruction and poverty. There will be destruction and poverty, especially the poverty for the UK. The Lord is saying there will be famine. There will be a famine in the UK. And it will be all over the world, the Lord is saying. Destruction and poverty. And this is why the Lord wants me to do this video again to prepare his people. I also heard that the whole world will be affected by this world crisis. The Lord said it will be as back in the days of Noah and the ark. When the Lord told Noah that there will be a flood and many people didn't believe, they were carrying on with their daily activities. They laughed at him and the flood came and they were locked out. And so this is what I've been doing. I've been telling people that this virus is coming back again. I've been telling people that there will be food shortages and stuff. But, you know, people dismiss it. They, they laughed at me when I told them about the virus and stuff. They do not believe. But the Lord is saying it will be as in the days of now. And so I'm telling you again, not because I want to repeat myself, but because the Lord wants me to let his people know so that they can be prepared. Okay. Many, many, many may wonder why the Lord is telling us and he's not doing anything. Why is he telling us of this destruction, these things that are to come and he's not doing anything? But there are spiritual laws in this earthly realm. There are spiritual laws and so this is where we as believers come in. We are God's representative. We are the body of Christ. Our bodies are the temple of the Lord. And so as we are representative, he uses us to, to pray and to fast and to make changes in this physical realm because the Lord is a spirit. God is a spirit, he says. And so... A spirit cannot operate in this physical realm. It takes a physical person. And so this is where we come in. Even when demons operate in people, I know I'm off the subject, but even when demons operate in people, the demon needs a body. Just to explain to you that God, you know, will not move on our behalf. He has called us as a people to make changes, to pray to him, to fast and to seek him for changes. And so this is why the Lord will not move, but it's up to us. It's up to us to pray and to fast, as did the king of Nineveh, when Jonah went and prophesied to them of the destruction that was to come. The king led prayer and fasting it said even the animals were on fasting he took it serious and they were saved because of that when we pray collectively it moves heaven just as if something in the public is trending many people are talking about it i always hear it in the spirit realm I always hear what is happening in the public without looking in the media or anything to do with the media. I would hear it before 
or I would hear it even on the day. This is how powerful it is when we pray collectively, when we talk about something collectively, whether it be negative or positive, it makes a powerful impact in the spirit realm. And so I always know what is trending. I always know what the public is talking about. And so brethren, by us taking actions, we can prevent this. But even if we haven't, the Lord is saying, be prepared. Be prepared. I'm not going to tell you how, because you know if there's a famine, you know if there's a famine predicted, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do, brethren. And so the Lord wants to rescue and to save his people from this. We can be all right, even in famine or whatever destruction is going on. It's not just for the UK. The UK will be severely affected by the famine, but it's all over the world, the Lord is saying. We can see that there is floods, there is hurricane, there is fire, there is so many things going on. And you know, the Lord told me about this last year, August as well. At the time when he was speaking to me about the recession that was to come, he was talking about these natural disasters as well that was to come. He talked about California on many, many occasions to me. You know, I saw California being poor and run down. You know, so the Lord is warning us, brethren, take heed, you know, so that we can save or spare our lives because it doesn't have to be this way for God's people because we should be ahead, aware of what is to come when we are with Christ. He forewarns us of what is to come. Okay, these are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say, if there's anyone who don't know Christ as a personal saviour, to do so before it is too late. Tomorrow is not promised to any man and we could die in our sins at any time. And so I'm encouraging you to seek the Lord before it's too late. Also for those who were once with Christ, but they've turned away from the faith. I'm encouraging you to seek the Lord now before it's too late. There are also those who are with Christ, but they are, they're still professing the faith, but they're one foot in, one foot out, still doing the things of the world. I'm encouraging you to return to the Lord, to repent of your sins and seek the Lord now before it's too late. As I've said, tomorrow is not promised to any man and we could die in our sins at any time. The scripture said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Brethren, we are living in the last days. And so I'm encouraging you to take the Lord seriously and return to him now before it's too late. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.